Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be learning about office automation systems. We'll be seeing the basic introduction, the basic concept of an OAS, and then we'll be seeing some real world examples to enhance your understanding about the same concept. So starting with what is an office automation system or an OAS? So an OAS basically allows the movement of data as well as information across different uh, parts of an organization without human help. That means whenever an organization starts to use an office automation system, it tries to automate a particular process of the organization and tries to eliminate all kinds of human intervention for that particular process. Now, an office automation system helps an organization to achieve full scale automation. That means it is not only restricted to uh, removal of paper paperwork or documentation in the form of hard copies, but it also involves automating all the processes, all the sub processes that are happening within an organization in such a way that humans are only involved unless and until there is no substitute for them. For example, the uh, automating the entire process of recruitment of employees in an organization is possible through an office automation system such that human help would be required only for the interviewing part. Rest everything can be handled by the OAS itself. Now, an office automation system basically collects data, it stores and analyzes that data. And this data not only comes from internal company sources, but also from the outside world. And when this data is analyzed, the information that is obtained is then disseminated or distributed within different departments of the organization as and when required. And also across different organizations, maybe across different offices of the same enterprise. So an office automation system basically helps to reduce the amount of human effort that was earlier required, the time that was taken up to complete these tasks and also removes the errors, human errors that were earlier happening in performing these tasks that are now taken up by the OAS. So coming to real world examples, this is an office automation system for uh, enhancing or automating the recruitment process of employees in an organization. This is a software known HireHive and I've taken these screenshots from its official website. So this helps an organization to recruit smarter, better and in an automated way. So this Hire Hive software basically allows the company to automatically post the vacancies for the candidates, the type of employees, their job specifications, the educational qualifications that are required. And these, this posting is done as per the uh, time and date and the number of employees required by the company. Again, all this is coded, feed it into the algorithms of this particular OAS and no human help is required. The posting is directly done on social media platforms, on career pages, and they are also put up on the company's website. So the entire OAS, the recruitment process is being handled automatically. Now, once the uh, vacancies have been put up, jobs have been posted, at different platforms, you can then manage the applications with the help of this automation system. You can track which applicants have registered, which have uh, sent their resumes, you can shortlist those resumes and then after that, automatically this portal would also assess the qualifications of these candidates and schedule an interview. For scheduling an interview, again, it would block the calendars of the people from the organization who, would who will be required to take the interviews. Only then human help would be taken up by in this recruitment process. Otherwise, the entire interview scheduling, the updation of the scores obtained by the interviewees and the entire process is taken up by the automation system. Now, this is uh, another example of an automation system for security of networks of an organization. So SolarWinds is a very prominent player in when it comes to network security. SolarWinds, what it does, it's basically it completely automates the process of monitoring the traffic that is traversing or crossing different systems of an organization. It automatically and continuously monitors the, uh, the traffic patterns 
patterns it analyzes them finds out if there are malicious or patterns that match cyber crime cyber attack patterns and then if required it handles as in uh, it handles those malicious patterns those attempts of cyber attacks and informs the management as required by it so it is automatically assessing all the traffic that is passing through the networks of an organization it is creating such charts and visual representation of how much analysis has been done the employees are nowhere involved in this process and only when some critical issue needs to be taken up and the permission of the management is required it would inform and uh, email or maybe notify the management so again complete automation of the process of securing networks within an organization a similar uh, software program is splunk which again helps to prevent major cyber issues or uh, it also helps to fix issues across different systems within an organization it helps to critically analyze the services that are uh, being provided by the company the outages that can happen and before any major cyber incident happens it acts proactively gives you the statistics and handles gives the response as and when required so again splunk is also a software like solowinds which is helping you to secure the networks the systems the digital data that is pre present in your company and it is doing it on its own without any human interference till the extent possible okay the next example for an office automation system comes for scheduling of work meetings among the employees of an organization the example the real world software that implements it is float software so float what it does is if a meeting has to be scheduled across for different uh, among different employees that are present across different departments or across different offices of the same organization at different global geographies then it checks all the calendars of these employees it finds out a time that is common and acceptable to all it blocks their calendars the software also informs the people that a meeting has been scheduled and on the day and time before the meeting a notification of the reminder is also sent to the candidates so basically it is scheduling the work it is also telling which meetings are scheduled how much to how to prioritize the work how uh, to uh, divide the work so that nothing goes beyond the deadlines and everything gets streamlined again automating the entire process without requiring a human personal who would contact each and every employee for scheduling a meeting okay now comes the example for an oas for finance and budgeting so basically using this oas which is named plan guru you can set your financial goals you can analyze the company's performance the sales the profit the revenues that have been generated you can forecast what will be what will happen if certain decisions are taken that means you can run what if analysis if certain factors are changed for example if you increase the sales of a particular product of your company to 10 times then how will the sales be affected how much investment would be required or if you want to achieve a particular revenue target then what factors you would want to change that is goal seek analysis so all these decisions about the finance and budgeting can be directly taken up with the office automation system one example of it is plan guru another example is scoro again it generates visual representations of the financial matters of an organization expert knowledge is required only at the final stages when decisions have to be implemented otherwise everything is taken care up by this office automation system all right the last the next example is the cloud management office automation system so the companies that are providing cloud services to its users they basically need to automate the process of infrastructure management of the clouds as in when deployments need to be changed certain parties need to be given access revoked access or maybe even uh, automation of the networks that are present on ground the physical networks the software defined networks 
all kinds of such tasks can be taken up by cloud management operating office automation system and one such example is ansible as you can see here so it performs auto uh, cloud automation network automation even edge automation and allows the uh, companies that are providing such cloud services to easily and in a more efficient manner handle the deployment the load balancing of such services so that's all for today's video thank you for watching till we meet in the next video Mind your exam.